Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced, Developer Advocate here at Dremio. And I just want to alert you guys to a really cool uh, new tool um, that's right now part of the project, Nessie project, but that helps anybody who's run into this issue where basically you have migrated to Iceberg and those iceberg tables have to be part of a catalog. So let's say you originally had your tables on-prem and you were using Hive as your catalog, or you were using AWS Glue as your catalog. But now you would like to take advantage of, let's say, Project Nessie, or uh, Project Nessie as a service known as Dremio Arctic, uh, where you basically will have those, not only your catalog, but you get catalog level commits, so that way you can isolate ETL, you can do catalog level rollbacks, a lot of other really cool features, but that requires you to have to move your tables over, which you could do using like a CTAS, but then you lose all your table history. Okay, and then you have to rewrite a bunch of files and, uh, you know, may not necessarily be uh, ideal in the past. But with this tool, okay, written by these contributors over here, okay, um, you can easily migrate your iceberg tables from any iceberg catalog to a different iceberg catalog okay so this could be really any combination so you can see here just to show you some of these possibilities um, let me just go to where it like lists all the possible values for catalogs so right here is like the documentation okay and there's an argument you can pass to it for catalog which is right here source type and then right here are the different types of catalogs that you can migrate from so you can even do custom catalogs, but from like DynoDB to Glue, or Glue to DynoDB, or ECS to Hadoop, basically anything is possible. So basically if you have your iceberg tables in one place because it was sort of the most convenient place to get started, but you want to move it to somewhere else, you have the possibility to move those tables to that catalog. Okay, so let me show you an example. Okay, so basically what I did here is that I defined these environmental variables ahead of time. Okay, so just by running these export commands, I defined these variables which I then reference in the command. But essentially what would happen is you would download this jar, okay? And you can look in the documentation for that command to download the jar. Also on the Dremio, uh, quick guides from Dremio repo, okay? You can also find sort of a shadow of, of the docs where I organize just a lot of these like arguments for quick copy and paste. So you can find that there. But essentially what you do is you download this jar, okay? And then you just run it and you pass either migrate or um, it's either migrate or register. Now, if you run the migrate command, migrate is going to essentially move all those tables to the new catalog and then remove them from the old catalog. So the old catalog will no longer reference those tables, which generally, if you're doing a full-on migration, that is what you want to do because you don't want multiple catalogs referring to those tables to, to avoid inconsistency issues or consistency issues because you know someone creates a... Uh, doesn't update from one catalog that isn't reflected in the other catalog and so forth. Okay, now if you just want to have the new catalog reference those tables and then you'll manually deal with the other catalog later, you can also change this to register, which register only registers those tables with the new catalog, but it won't remove them from the old catalog. So you have options. Okay, and there's several different arguments you can pass to configure how it does its job. So here I have stack trace, which allows you to print the whole stack trace into this logs folder. Um, if there's any errors during the job. Dry run, which is what I'm running here. So I'm not, I don't want, really want to migrate my tables right now, but the idea is dry run allows you to run the command and see what the result would have been, like which identifiers would have been migrated over had this command went the full way. Okay, so I'm doing a dry run. So basically you have to do two things. You have to identify the details of your source catalog. So in this case, my source catalog is glue and is able to communicate with my glue catalog due to these environmental variables. So particularly my AWS credentials, and the region, uh, which I don't have specified up there, but I do have the AWS default region environmental variable defined as well. Okay, and with that, it's able to, to communicate with my Glue catalog. Okay, but I also going to specify some other properties. So you have this property called source catalog properties, where I can specify like the warehouse, so where generally those files get stored. Uh, the IO implementation, how it's going to read and write files, which in this case is S3 file input output. Okay, although again, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to read and write any files. Mainly it's moving over those catalog references from one catalog to another. Um, so in this case, my the, the target catalog is where I am moving to. So I have the target catalog type, which is Nessie, because it's a Nessie catalog. So Dremio Arctic is powered by Project Nessie. Okay. And then here I have my pro properties, where I have my Nessie URL, which is my URL from the Arctic UI for my particular server. 
uh, the ref, which is basically what branch am I going to, you know, target these references to be added to. So the main branch, because again, Nessie allows you to do branching and merging and all that. Uh, the Nessie warehouse, which I have in a variable, which is the S3 URL where that would be where data files will be stored. And the IO implementation, which is also going to be S3 file IO, because I'm still going to store all my data in S3. Uh, authentication, because Dremio Arctic it has bearer authentication. And basically, the, that authentication is done through a personal access token, which I have hidden in an environmental variable right here. And I pass that. Okay. Oh, okay. And then I realize I have the ref main argument twice. Doesn't affect things that still work, but let's not have that twice. Now, what if I didn't want to migrate all my tables? Then I have this argument identifiers will let me specify which identifiers, essentially which tables from this catalog I want to move over. And it'll only migrate those particular uh, things. So now, once I construct my command, I can just literally just plop that into my terminal. Okay. Hit run. And it's going to run that command. And there it did it. And basically right there, it says at the end, because it's a dry run, that hey, would have, these these are the tables that would have been migrated had I allowed this to run the full migration. Okay. And if there's any problems, it would show up in this logs folder. You would have like this little catalog migration log where I can kind of see any errors that I run into. Um, when it's successful, I can, for a dry run, I can see which identifiers in this a dry run identifiers that text that shows me, hey, this is this is what would have been migrated. So that way I can kind of audit the migration process before I actually do it. So it's pretty straightforward. Again, probably the easiest thing to do is just write a bash script. So basically, you know, that defines all your environmental variables and runs your command. So that way you have it all in one nice reproducible script. Um, but yeah, now it's easier than ever to migrate between, um, you know, catalogs. So that is using this right here. So all these links will be in uh, the video uh, description. So check that out. But again, my name is Alex Merced, developer advocate at Dremio. And I look forward to seeing you trying out this migration tool and getting the iceberg catalog of your dreams working with your iceberg tables. Have a great day and enjoy.